Now we are porting a PRB head straight from a K20 Type R that actually came from a DC5 from this one. And we'll talk about the stock port geometry as it sits and of course the usual, the pocket porting stage or the pocket ported stage and of course the fully ported full works when we're done with it. We will talk about the comparisons between both and of course the application intended and of course the benefits of all of this. So you know you want to check this out. First things first, as I mentioned in the community post earlier, my Facebook account, my personal Facebook account got hacked. So I'm still trying to regain access and moderation controls to the Facebook page of the shop, you know, I mean, you know, the shop page. But for now, you guys can hit me up at my Instagram here. You can see it's Rob SRDMS. So you hit me up here and I'll just get back to you right away. You know, and as they say, haters gonna hate, right? And so we'll have the link in the description below for the Instagram account. All right, now onto the PRB head. As you can see, the stock core is really good. This is why the K-series flows really good in stock form. As you can see, there is minimal core shift and even the bolt into the throat is pretty placed well or, you know, it's pretty consistent. And so here we go with the pocket porting. So now let's go to the porting bench. Here we are. We start with the carbide. Of course, we try to get the shape consistent as we can. And so, of course, now we go with the time lapse because it's gonna get a little boring. The good thing with the K series heads, even the even the K twenty four or the R B B head, the core shift is so minimal. It's not a lot, unlike the B series and worse, of course, the D series. So here we are. We're getting close to the shape we want. Yes, sir. And now here's the initial roughed out look of the bow. It's blended well. And of course, we can actually stop here, but we're going to go with the 80 grit for now. Here we are with the ethyl and dishwashing soap mix. We we'll try to lubricate all the bowl so that when we make a pass with the 80 grit, the finish is pretty good. All right, there you go. And now here it is, the 80 grit. Okay. We try to see the ridges and all that cleaned up. And of course, we have the time lapse because it's going to get a little boring. All right. And you can start to feel it with your hands or with your fingers to get it consistent as you want, as you can and as you need to. So here's starting to look really, really good. Yes, sir. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now we invert the head. We go with the exhaust bowl. So we got to get it with the 80 grit. It's going to be really good. All right. Yes, sir. I mean, we can go with a carbide, but at some point, uh, there, there's select circumstances where we, you know, we can just go straight with the 80 grit. It's not going to take too much time. But if it's going to take too much time, we go the, with a carbide cutter. This way, it's faster. There you go. All right. Now we wash up the head and go to the workbench. Here we are. There you go. Pocket ported head. And actually, you know, this is good for actually at least 70 to 80% of the K series out there on the streets. This is more than enough. And here it is with proper lighting. You can see the bowl and the transition to the throat is gone really, really good and a lot better and more consistent, right? So couple this with a good valve job. This is going to be a killer street head. It's going to be really, really good. And here's the still shots. Here you can see. You can see it's all consistent, right? And of course, 
I understand that shipping may cost a lot of money because we're we're in the Philippines right now. But in New Jersey, Head Games, Motorworks does a really really good job pocket porting heads, and you guys can hit them up. And they also they actually have a channel, and we'll have them in the description below. Dave is a good guy, so I know they're gonna be good if you go to them. But of course, if you guys really want to send your stuff to us, which is actually a better idea, of course we're just here. You know, it's just shipping that cost in the from the u.s now let's go to the porting bench now we go with the exhaust port now with the carbide so we continue fully porting the head so now it's going to be completely ported okay of course with time lapse so you can see make sure you wear a gas mask or a face mask because we don't want you guys inhaling all this carbon stuff and you know you have lung issues and all that you know you gotta take care of your health because i always wear a gas mask when i'm pointing this way you know always be healthy or at least try to be you know yes sir we're almost there the more you work on the carbide you start to feel if there's bumps or lumps on the head every time you're porting so it takes years to actually get that consistent and you know efficient when you're porting so even though we're showing you all this stuff it doesn't no it's not that simple but hey you guys can try and here it is the roughed out version of the exhaust ports all right the shape is slowly getting there all right now let's go move to the 80 grit sanding roll to get the shape really good and done all right here we are now with the 80 grit and we're start you're gonna start to feel the even smoother stage like for example you got the carbide smoothed out the, the certain shape that you want and now when you go with the 80 grit you still start to s s feel the finer bumps and you're gonna get that smooth and really good yes sir and you know this is a personal take okay the exhaust of the rbb head is actually shaped a lot better than the prb for me okay but the intake of the prb is way way better so hey it's a you know it's a compromise on both right however the s2000 head the f20c has an even better intake port shape and even better exhaust port shape and you know how it performs actually shows the results right it actually performs a lot better so here you are now now that we go with a 120 grit and as you notice we start to spray spray more lubricant because this is to get the finished touch or the finishing touch really good and consistent because if you don't lubricate enough or well it start to you know burn up and start to get darker and not look good and this is our trick this is why it looks clean when reporting it with the 120 grit here it is it's almost done but not quite because it still needs a lot of details on the short end or short turn and all that so hey it's almost there but not quite right so we keep going and now we go with the intake with the 80 grit of course here you go because the 80 grit eats enough material we don't go with the carbide for now because the prb intake is already shaped really really good so you just have to shape it just a little bit you know just to get it you know to aid the shape in improving it into a better sequence or better shape you know just you don't have to drastically change or move a lot of material to get the desired shape so here we are going with the side walls making it more consistent to the floor and the roof of course yes sir and now here we can look at close the initial stage this is actually the rough out phase of the intake port but you know we use the 80 grit because it still removes enough material and you can see it's getting there yes sir okay now let's go continue now we turn the head now we start working on the port floors yes sir as you can see the shape is starting to get good and it's getting clearer and you can see with the time lapse this helps us visualize better and you guys can see that yes sir and then the number four port yes all right now here we are let me show you here we are now look on that oh it's getting there you know the shape is getting there so we're gonna keep going with this and achieve the finish that we want and desire so we can show you guys and actually you know 
after the 80 grit we actually went with 120 grit on the intake and even the exhaust so we're gonna show you that after washing the head now let's go now after cleaning up here we are with the 120 grit finish and the head is all done here's the intake of course all finished right now but you know what something for a change instead of focusing on the intake right away let's go to the exhaust here is the exhaust ports. We finished it with 120 grit also, but you can see the ledge before the seat, we didn't touch it because it lets you lose torque right away. So we maintained that. Here's a closer shot with better lighting. As you can see, the exhaust port is really good. Now it's, this is gonna be flowing really good, exiting the exhaust spent gases, therefore generating more torque and of course increasing volumetric efficiency altogether yes sir yes sir this is what makes the k20a head really really good now something i'd like to mention this is mainly directed to our, towards our locals because we locally we still suffer with that colonial mentality that you know if it's important it must be good but when you think about it between 2014 to 2017 we have ported several heads for the guys in australia that actually competed in the world time attack challenge between 2014 to 2017 and of course even a fellow in france named julien he actually had this k20 ported by us and of course the guys at prodigy race engines had us do several k series heads even manifolds and actually even a skunk 2 pro series intake manifold that we ported and cut up and improved and they actually dynoed it and that's just to name a few it doesn't include the guys from south america even guam and everywhere now let's have a look at the exhaust ports even closer here with actual lighting and actually good lighting to show you guys how the consistent contours and the shape we maintain so that it flows and actually preserves the exhaust airspeed or the spent gases this way it's going to be more efficient creating more torque and allow you to run even bigger cams and more power yes sir now let's go on to the intake now as we checked earlier here it is all finished and all done yes sir now all you gotta do is port match this to the intake when we're gonna assemble the engine, the K20A. Alright, let's go close. And here, actually I decided instead of taking pictures, I actually used, used my phone to take a slow video or a slow moving video to show you guys the intake ports a lot better. And I guess it shows it better, right? You can see the divider is contoured well into the bowl. Even the port side balls is shaped really well. Even the floor, which is actually the roof right now in the view, but it's the floor. Yes, sir. This head is gonna be flowing really good and performing really good. With a good valve job, this is killer. So, you know, if you think about it, on even a regular build or a regular spec K20A, this is gonna perform really, really good because it maintains good airspeed this way it would let you run a bigger cam than usual and you won't necessarily lose low end or mid range and that's just how i approach certain builds or building an engine that's what i go for i go for good airspeed this way it gives me more efficiency and more power the way with cams and don't worry i'll pin in the comments below the playlist that we did strictly for all the k series projects and heads that we do so you guys can check on that and binge watch on it and hopefully that gives you guys more ideas on your own build. And of course, we'll keep updating you and you can click here for the project on this.